Hello and welcome to the fourth video in this series on the DVR client software. In this video, we'll be going over how to access recordings from all of your cameras. It's easy to go back and access recordings from a certain time or event that your cameras may have recorded. To get started, let's go ahead and select the camera that you want to view. For example, I want to view my front driveway camera. So I'll select it and then drag it from the left to the right side. This will pull open the camera view and then we'll be able to get started. Right click on the video and then select open archive. This will pull open the archive video for the camera you chose. This is the interface for pulling archive video. On the left we have our list of cameras. In the center we have our view of that camera. On the right we have PTZ controls. On the top buttons for skipping and on the bottom our timeline. Our timeline is very important to accessing videos. It shows us motion information if we have motion detection set up on our camera. The motion detection shows up as a yellow line on our green recording. As you hover over the timeline, you can see the current time that you're at as a bubble that pops up next to your mouse. For example, the current time I'm at right now is 11.07 a.m. The dark green area over here represents video that has not been recorded yet. On the left, we have our video with our motion information overlaid in yellow. Where we have a yellow line means that motion information was recorded. Where there's skips in the yellow line means that no motion was detected during that frame. Let's go ahead and pull back a recorded video from about 11 a.m. this morning. The fastest way to do that is to double click on your timeline. This will open up the go to time window, which will allow you to enter in a time that you want to view. First, you can select your day from the calendar, then select a time. I'll set it to 11 o'clock, then hit OK. This will move our cursor back to the time that we're looking for and show the video for that time. The easiest way to view our footage from there is to go to the bottom left corner and hit play. The video will start playing in real time from the point that we selected. At any time, if you want to pause, you can hit the pause button right next to it. The pink boxes that show up over your video are showing you your detected motion for the frame. For example, this box up here showed us that a car drove by. To disable this, right click and hit show detected motion regions. This will uncheck it and remove it from our video. At any time you can right click and hit show detected motion regions again. In order to search through your video, one of the tools that you can use is the skip feature. Up in the top, select an increment of time to search through. I'll choose one minute increments. Then hit the seek forward button. This will seek forward one minute through your video. You can also seek one minute backwards. Or if you hit the larger skip button, you can seek five times that amount, aka five minutes. This is one of the fastest ways to quickly search through your video. If you want to skip frame by frame, there's a next frame button down at the bottom left corner. This will go frame by frame through your video. Another way to search quickly through your video is to use the detected motion region. This can search a set area in your screen for motion detection and skip to those frames. To do so, go up to navigation and hit define region of motion interest. Then drag on your video on the area that you want to search for motion detection. Next, go navigation, seek to next motion. You can also hit control and M at the same time to do this repeatedly. As you can see, it pulled up the detected motion information for when this truck was driving through the driveway. If I hit control P, It'll bring me to the previous motion event. One of the most important features of the archive software is exporting your video. Once you've found the video that you want to save, you'll have to export it out of Luxrite to a file that you can share easily. To do so, go up to Edit and click Export Wizard. Then click Next. Stay in simple mode and click Next again. Hit Next to choose AVI as our video type. 
Then, double check that you have the correct camera selected that you want to export video from. In this case, we'll use front driveway. Then, if you want to use subtitles, leave hard subtitles on. Then, hit next. We'll have to define our start and our stop time that we want our video to start and end at. I'll set mine back about 10 seconds to get a small window of video. Then, we'll uncheck reduce long gaps and set our exported video rate to 1. Then hit next. We'll choose a name for our output file and hit browse to choose where we want it to go. Once you've chosen, hit save. Then hit next and hit next again. This will start exporting our video frame by frame. And it's done. And now we're given the option to create a CD or a DVD with the video that we just exported. If you do want to create a CD or DVD, select the box and then select your DVD drive from your computer. Insert a blank disk into your computer and then hit next. If you don't, unselect the box and then hit next again. If you want to open the footage that you just created, hit Open File Created by the Wizard and choose Default Associated Windows Application to open it with. If not, uncheck both options and hit Finish. This concludes Video 4 on viewing and exporting recordings.